Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to hide your extra chameleon logos on, on your Macintosh. With the advent of Multinite 10.8, those who have, us, uh, have uh, multiple OS on our Macintosh and love to play around with each, with each OS, um, today I'm going to show you how to hide the extra logos that are stacked up against you just so you can get more room for the main, mostly the main logos that you really need. And as if you have Windows 7 like me, you have Windows 7 System Reserve icon and the Windows 7 hardware as well. All you need is this Windows System Reserve icon, which just contains the Windows 7 bootloader like me, and and that's when I already used to boot Windows 7. So you can at least have like me, Snow Leopard 10.68, Monster 9 10.8, soon to be for my machine, and maybe the next flavor that you have on your ETA HD or SSD. So you can have at least four or five, whatever. It was. Um, I don't know how we're gonna get to all of them, but. That's what it's going to be. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. Hide the extra chameleon. I mean, sorry, Chimera logos. So you're going to go to terminal. Hit disk, util, list. You're going to bring up all of your hard drives that are listed on the machine. Uh, my first one is my Snow Leopard disk, then for the hard drive, and then my Windows disk. Actually, I want to hide this. The Windows Seven Ultimate 32 bit um this logo from um, Chimera when it boot up so I want to have like stack or if you have more of the drives than me so you can erase this but all you need is the system reserve drive so I'm going to take note of that which is this one too I'm going to hide this one this windows this um, logo from appearing on Chimera from there you're going to go to finder the root of your main OS um, that you use as a prior priority, priority boot you're going to extra you're going to double click on the boot for this file using whenever um, Whatever text, uh, text document from an app you like to use open PS files. I thought you can use uh, put a new key string, which would be key hide partition close key string HD bracket one comma two bracket close string, which is the same, which is the drive I want to hide from Chimer upon. If you're boot, um, if you turn off your machine and you boot up and want to use different OS each time you boot into your Hackintosh machine, you can do so that allows you to do it. So it's gonna hide that your string, leave it there. Um, once you've done that, or whatever extra hard drive OS you don't want to see on the terminal that you don't use it anymore, um, or you maybe want to use um, hidden um, F12 to choose uh, whatever drive that you may not the OS you don't want to use, or particular if you don't want to use it anymore. You can hide the, hide the, the logo at the Chimera boot screen. So I'm only hiding the Windows System um, logo because I don't need it because I only really needed the Windows System Reserve icon so I could boot into Windows 7. So you're going to close this once you're done. You can hide partition. You can hide more than one drive in it. All you have to do is add an extra comma after HD bracket comma 2 bracket close and a comma and then you start a new HD bracket whatever bracket is listed. Um, whatever the disk identifier is listed in terminal using that disk util list command. So that's it. You're going to close it off on the boot, and you should see that it has, it has hidden Chimer, has um, totally hidden or ignored that lo extra logo, which will fit all your logos in a neat um, horizontal list without logo stacked on each other on the right side, or rather it may be if you have more than one list. So that's a quick video on how to hide the Chimer logos um, at the Chimer boot screen. So good luck. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and if you have any questions about this, um, you can hit me up in the, on YouTube comments or on my Facebook page. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and have a good, great day.